the British occupied this land, it means they stole the land. And a great hero and a great warrior of Islam, Salahuddin Ayyubi, we captured the land, are going to have a war against Jews, against Israel, and want to get them. <laughs> I have uh, wrote some keywords and some key head topics on the basis of those topics I will discuss and inshallah so let's move on first I will talk about the ancient era okay so first of all we will come about prophetic history so many prophets like Abraham Jesus David and Moses were believed to be lived in Palestine and that there that, that, that's for and therefore Palestine is said to be a sacred land now coming towards the significance in Islam about Palestine so it is the third third most holiest place in the world uh, and it is considered as the third most holiest place third most holiest site in Islam because uh, after Mecca and Medina, it is the third most holiest site in Islam. So it's the significance of Islam of Palestine. Now coming towards Islamic conquest and golden age. In 638, the Palestine was conquered by Umar ibn al-Khattab, a caliphate, and uh, he ran over this place. And it was a center of learning and culture. After that, Umayyad and Abbasid's era came. Palestine flourished under these dynasties and also with the iconic mosque and uh, monuments were constructed under these dynasties. Now coming towards Crusades and Ayyubis dynasty. Christians Crusaders occupied this land in 1099 but were later defeated by Ayyubid dynasty and a great hero and a great warrior of Islam Salahuddin Ayyubi an Ayyubid leader recaptured from 1517 to 1917 Palestine was a part of Ottoman Empire and Islamic a religious Islamic culture and tradition then British mandate and Zionist movement came the British occupied this land from 1917 to 1948 it means they stole the land and during which time the Zionist immigrants led attention in this land then suddenly the Jewish immigrants arrived in Palestine seeking to establish a homeland I can highlight this that they were seeking to establish a homeland then it results and conclude a conflict between Palestine and Israel Nakba and Palestinian displacement in 1948 there was a war between Israel and Arabs which led Palestinian Palestine divided and uh, the people and of Pal Palestine Palestinians were displaced from their home and many were killed and this event was known as catastrophe or Nakba event Palestinians were forced into refugees camp camps and and with many were waiting in still return in 1967 there was a six-day war Israel occupied Gaza Strip and were uh, forcing Palestinians to uh, leave their home but Palestinians were resisting and they were forced to uh, leave their home now coming towards the 2024 uh, Israel have attacked Palestine once again and are killing and are occupying land a part of its land from Gaza till Rafa and they are going to finish Palestinians which is against humanitarian laws and uh, humanity dignity and the Muslims are advocating for unity and justice and compassion for Palestinians and are going to have a war against Jews against Israel and want to irrigate them from Palestine Stein is inherently an Islamic and Muslim led with a rich history and a cultural heritage that spans thousands of years despite the arrivals of various groups inclu including the Israels through the history the land remains rightfully part of the Islamic history and endowment and belongs to Muslim Ummah. Now coming towards the Palestinian struggle, the Palestinian people, both Muslims and Christians, have been subjected to occupation, displacement and oppression with their rights and dignity continually violated 